Nej, en helt nødvendig podcast. Ja. Yeah. 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 Og for det godt kæmpe, at det var en af de Is there anyone that you would like consider a blue? Who's that fat pig from um, Wallabies? <laughs> what's um, what's his name? I remember I kind of walked into the sheds and I was. Who's like, this guy with a filthy lit, mullet? Literally, uh, filthy <laughs> mullet, chip tooth. <laughs> sorry, bro, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's me, bro. Just, yeah. just a goon. Yeah. Everyone's got it. Everyone's got head noise. Head yeah. noise podcast. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Presto, thanks for um coming, man. Episode two. No worries, mate. Thank so, you for having me. So um. Wait, you've had a great start to your career in the NRL and I've sort of met you on the journey from Roosters, um, Jersey Flag to where you are now, but I want to sort of start before that um, from school because you went to Iggy's? Yeah, St. Augustine's. Yeah, yeah you went to St. Augustine's yeah. and you were playing Union there. Yeah, Union there, yep, yep. Yeah, so tell me about that. So where did you start? Where did you go there? Year seven? So I started there in year seven and um, yeah, played rugby union all the way through uh, whilst also playing league at the same time. But Oh yeah? yeah well, who were you playing for then? Uh, so I was playing bit for the Burroughs Eagles okay. in rugby league and then um, so I played all my juniors there from under eights I started and played all my juniors for the Burroughs Eagles up until up until year seven I played a little bit but I found it a bit hard juggling union and Both. league yeah, yeah so I had to do that um, but yeah, I still tried to play a bit of league but it was mostly union yeah okay then I ended up kind of um, following all my mates playing union like uh, we obviously state championships and stuff as well. Yeah. Um, a lot of the boys playing that sort of thing. So I played a couple of games, sort of ring rats. Yeah, okay. In those kind of competitions. Fucking gronks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, so I played a bit of that growing up and um, yeah, it was mostly, mostly union because we had to. Um, for school? Yeah, for school. Did you play the school system? Like G, um, not GPS? I, we were ISA school. Yeah, okay. So yeah. did you play in those like teams and all those yeah, more stuff? Yeah, so, more so my last year, year of um, school. Yeah, uh, trial of uh, trial for ISA. I made the ISA team and then yep. we played obviously GPS, yeah, GPS and, and stuff everything. like that. And that was that was a crazy experience. To be honest, it was pretty yeah, cool. Okay. Um, anything then, anything beyond that? Yes, yeah, so I was I was kind of got injured whilst whilst uh, in that selection process. Oh, so, really? Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, didn't really get there. Oh, didn't through. make it. Played didn't a couple of games. <laughs> 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 who couple knows games. who would have made it yeah. or not? But, <laughs> nah, league was definitely always my stronger game. To be oh, honest. really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was playing. Uh, I made the CIS team as well. That for that year as well. So you're 12. doing both? I was doing both, but yeah. um, so I was in the ISA and CIS, but then uh, I was also playing flag at the time wow. for the North Sydney Bears. So I was doing heaps. It's crazy looking Plus back a lot at of it. footy. And that was just year 12? Yes, but I got injured. And how, and how were your studies going at the same time? <laughs> yeah, they were going all right. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fuck off, were they? <laughs> <laughs> were they, were they genuinely? Yeah, no, genuinely. I ended up doing all right. I don't know how. What'd but, you get? Oh, it was up nearly, nearly 90. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro, you got 90. Uh, 89. Mate, 89. I was just playing one thing of school footy. I was just playing first 15 and I fucking didn't do it. I, I went to Kings. Oh, mate. Yeah, I don't know. It was, um, I don't know. I kind of look back. It was, it was head noise. Yeah. Like I'd, I'd, I'd be um, training every night and then I don't know. I'd, I remember I'd always get home about eight o'clock and yeah. I'd do like two hours of study. I, as much as I didn't want to, I just yeah, made sure I just kept ticking it over. Fuck, man, that's impressive. Yeah, that's amazing. that's really, but that's 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 like who you are. Like not to blow smoke up your ass, but like no, thanks, since I've known you, like you've always been just hard worker on the field, off the field. Like you get it done in both areas, and that's that's why you know you were the captain when I met you at Jersey Flag, and that's why you know your coaches say like you're going to be like the future captain of Bulldogs because like that's just what you're about. Like that's no, just thank who you, you are, man. And that's no nah, fucking all credit to you. Yeah, thank you, but mate. Still, you're still Derek. The ultimate Derek. Sorry. <laughs> So, no, it's not podcast. Is not about me. It's about you. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so you went from school, doing the high school, of doing a bit of both, union and league. Yep. D- got injured, didn't play it, and then what was after that? Yeah. So that I, I kind of ended my it was 2019. I finished school. Yeah. So that I didn't really play much more footy that year. Maybe yep. a couple of games of flag at the end, but that's about it. Um, and yeah, then 2020 uh, kind of. Decided to take a gap here. Had a bit of... Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, had like kind of plans to travel once footy was done and stuff. But um, that's kind of when COVID hit. So oh. it kind of disrupted that. So I guess I was um, playing footy, but also working full time as well for yeah, okay. Australia Post. Yeah, um, Australia, Australia, Australia Post. Post. <laughs> if you want to be a sponsor, get around me. <laughs> get them on board. Yeah, yeah. Sub, subcontract, yeah. So I was a subcontractor for them. Yeah. Um, working under my dad. My dad had a contract out there, so... Yep. I was doing that, um, so I ended up pretty much doing that for, for the full year because of COVID. Um, yep. They're essential service, so and just training, yeah, just training, yeah. training hard um, with with your brother, right? So yeah, so my brother has a has a gym. Um, What's your brother's name? Shout it out, man! Shout yeah, EMP EMP Performance. At, yeah, there uh, you Francis go. Forest. 
Yeah. Uh, Luke Preston and Mel Bettini. They, Mate, they get are, around. Yeah. Shout out to the brothers. Shout out to the brothers. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I was lucky enough to be able to still train with them um, out of that gym. They kind of opened it. So how were you training in the gym during COVID? It was... Because that was illegal. No, no. So it was, <laughs> there was periods there. It was stitch illegal. Up, it was up. illegal. But yeah. there was... No, they brought Mate, in... It's a fucking joke. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. No, nah, the um, gym was, wasn't actually... I was getting to it. It wasn't actually open. So they opened it at first... And then the COVID thing hit. Oh, and just as they opened. Just as they opened. That's so, fucked. Yeah. So I felt, yeah, it was that's so heavy. Horrible timing for them, to be honest. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, looking back, they, they follow all the rules and we managed to, like, most of the time be able to train. So out, pretty, like, out in the open. Out, and stuff. Out, yeah, outdoor. And that. There was like those, those was it two or three people groups? Yeah, something? yeah, something like that. I can't remember. Have you just did one with people in Woolies? Because you could group in Woolies, so people were doing like PT sessions in, in Woolies, Woolies, like like body exercise. I'm not even taking the piss, like full groups of people. Yeah, like I'm sure it was in America. I'm sure it wasn't here. Yeah, no way. Mate, looking back on those times, it was crazy. Like mate, the COVID times, mate, yeah, ridiculous. It. Mate, it was wild. It <laughs> was actually wild. But so, yeah, that's so, um, yeah. So just grinding, just training, working. Yeah. So that that 2020, um, I started off. We signed. We yeah. Signed so I was I was signed of the North Sydney Bears. So I wasn't even hadn't actually been at the Roosters yet. Um, I was playing for Just North for Sydney SG Bears. Ball. I play, yeah, so SG Ball for North Sydney Bears, and then I played 2019 flag after SG Ball yeah, with the happened? Bears because they had a um, Jersey flag side at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I was still contracted to the Bears for 2020. Yep. And then obviously COVID, yeah, COVID disrupted that season, but they did manage to get um, oh, like a, a, a competition together. Okay. Uh, it was called the President's Cup, and um, yep. so we got a, we got a couple of games of footy. Yep. In it was kind of a mix of um, a couple of young flag boys, like string and string played. And, uh, yeah, Jack string. string and that. Yeah, Jack String. <laughs> um, and like some older reserve grade boys and Ron Massey boys. So it was like a um, mix mixed bunch of boys, but we played like teams from all over. Yeah. Okay. New South Wales. So yeah. Yeah. So well. It was it was good to be honest. It was my first introduction to men's footy, and um, yeah. I think it was a good part in my development. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and then, um, so then did that for the 2020 or 2020? So that was 2020 and then 21, yep. uh, I ended up, North Sydney didn't, I was still signed with North Sydney. So they didn't have a- They didn't have yeah. a flag side, but they were partnered with the Roosters and right. a couple of us uh, came over and yeah, got that yep. opportunity there. Did you get the choose or they just said you're going here? Like, Oh, uh, well, I don't think there, yeah, I don't think there was much tr- much choice. Like <laughs> there wasn't going to be, a, there wasn't, <laughs> there wasn't going to be a flag squad and- um, yeah, I think a couple of like oh, so it's either you go there or you don't or you do don't have don't have anywhere to go. Oh right, so, but because yeah, yeah, no, yeah. we con- some of us are still contracted. I think yeah, okay. opportunity right to go. So yeah. yeah, that was um. But yeah, when I heard uh, going to Roosters, I was pretty stoked. That was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's what everyone says, man. Everyone from juniors goes like, Roosters, like Roosters juniors, like it's yeah, because I think it's a really professional environment. Yeah, no, it was, and yeah, once I got there, I loved it. It was um, yeah, mad bunch of boys, and that second that fir- my first season at the Roosters. Also got interrupted by, by COVID, so yeah, that was the second year. Yeah, so, so you just did the preseason. We did. No, we did a preseason. We played a fair few games, but then I think the second wave kind of shut right. it all down again, which was kind of disappointing. And you didn't play? Not after the wave hit. We probably played ten to twelve games, I think. And then it was cancelled. And then it was all cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you went back to post office. Yeah. Well, I was still doing the post office. Yeah. While I was doing it, but that year well, I started. So you were still doing the post. So you were still doing the five a.m. shift. Yeah. Yeah. All, well, I'd be at the gym at five o'clock, and then I go to the yeah, parcels man. after. This is this is because this is what I'm, I'm building to. Because when I first met you, was in 20, Two, 22. Was oh, end of twenty one, maybe end of twenty one. End of twenty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I just came over to league for the first time, and there was a we did like the introduction, met everyone. We didn't know each other at all, yeah. but then they had a morning gym session, and they said, "Whoever wants to come to morning gym, come." And like there was a bit of like. Hesitancy, eh? Yeah, like, like if, you don't, if, you don't, if you don't come, <laughs> if you don't come, you're a bit of a bitch. Yeah. Like that was like yeah. if you don't come. Yeah. And I remember it was me, you, Michael Coleman. Coleman, the great yeah. Coleman. <laughs> Shout out Coleman, <laughs> fucking scored a try yeah, in, yeah, the, in, the, in the NRL trial. In yeah. the NRL trial, <laughs> scored a try. Coleman, you fucking beast. Oh, yeah, Coleman. <laughs> and um, who else was? Uh, Hugo Savala. Was Swanee maybe? Maybe Swanee? Yeah, I think Swanee was there. Yeah. Jordan Swan, yeah, Hugo Savala was there too. And, um, and ended up dragging Bobby Miller with me eventually. Yeah, eventually got Bobby Miller. <laughs> Bobby Miller. Fuck what a man. Him. I love that man. <laughs> and um, yeah, so me and you were in, um, in the, so we met like sort of in the gym. And I remember just going like, yeah, this, guy, this guy's pretty strong. Like, this guy's, you know, he knows what he's doing. And, we're like, and then we sort of met each other and we started training together. Yeah. I remember we sort of partnered up um, 
trained together in, in that morning session sort of became friends and I like sort of got to know each other and, and figured out you're like so how long have you been playing league for and I'm like mate <laughs> this, this is, <laughs> mate, let alone fucking train <laughs> like, like, like this is this is my first time <laughs> like, fuck man I remember I remember we used to I remember that day I was dreading it hey because we went out went out into the field and they're just like yeah we're doing all fitness it was sort of past the fitness days it was more into like the tackling, tackling and like stuff yeah you know like you know, just getting into the game stuff. And I just remember every single time I, so I would see someone coming at me, I've just chop tackle, chop tackle, <laughs> chop tackle. And I used to get fucking lit up. Like, super, super quick play the balls. Yeah, super, <laughs> everyone's getting super quick play the balls. Coaches are like, what's uh, the fuck you doing? Hit higher. And I just couldn't uh, do it. You're being a bit humble, but like, like we, I remember the boys, were, they were impressed with your intensity. Like you came and you just went balls to the wall. So <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. thanks, bro. I, <laughs> I was going balls to the wall. <laughs> doing it all fucking wrong. Like, who's this bloke? <laughs> yeah, who's, who's this bloke trying to I get my knees. Get, get off my knees. I might have blown up at you once for it as well. Mate, you fucking blew up at me. I remember it was at like Maddo High. Maddo High, yeah. It was at Maddo High. You got up. You actually got a hospital, and I rushed up, and I and I thought I put a really good shot on, and you was like, "Why are you fucking taking my legs out?" And I was like. You fucking serious, man? Oh, oh, I'm trying to tackle you. Oh, good days, eh? Yeah, good days. <laughs> that was that was that was our introduction to each other, mate. Yeah. We've been we've been good friends since. Hundred percent, mate. And um, so. That year you played flag. That that was actually quite a big year for you because yeah. you were playing um, flag. I was playing Sydney Shield. <laughs> Shout out all the Sydney Shield brothers. You know who Love you are. Lovely boys. Lovely boys. Um, and yeah, but we would always train together. We'd play in different teams, but we'd always train together. And you had a fucking outstanding flag season. Hey, thank you, mate. No, yeah, it was. Um, it was yeah, it was definitely kind of everything kind of clicked that year. I guess. Um, yeah. I know. We had a good preseason. What do you think it was? What do you think it was that clicked? What was the di- like? Yeah, I don't know. I was. I think first of all, there was a mad bunch of boys in my in my like, in my eyes. We all, we all go along really well, and I know we all like we're always uh, hanging out together and stuff. And yeah, yeah, with that, I was probably I was probably comfortable and um, comfortable among the boys. And I don't know. I guess I guess being the older, like being one of the older boys in the mm. squad at the time, was kind of on us, on myself, and some of the other boys to I don't know step up and and lead us. So. Yeah, because it, was, it wasn't a very intense group. Like our, like we could, mate. We had some boys in that team. They know who they are. I was yeah. one of them. We could party. Like yeah. we could, we would go out. We would have our fun. We would go, you know, have all the good time. But when it came to training, our boys are on, mate. It doesn't yeah. matter if you went out the night before. You showed up at five a.m., got your gym done, and then you're on the field. And yeah. like it was intense. Hundred percent. Like it was real. Like. like Barnes you know, used to have us going crazy. <laughs> mate, Bar- Barnes used to have, have a, you know, Tony Barn, mate, he used to have us going at it. It was like a <laughs> UFC fight every training session. Yeah, but uh, looking back at it, mate, like that was just, yeah, I don't know. Everything just seemed to click. I got, got confidence. Um, and yeah, it was, it was, yeah, footy was real fun. And yeah. obviously started off in flag and then got an opportunity in cup and that just kept my confidence yeah, going. Yeah, so that's, that's what I was trying to get to. So I remember you went up to play a cup for the Bears. So yep. you, Roosters didn't have a cup team. Roosters yep. cup team was Bears. And you went up there. And you know, I was actually you went up with John Swan, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh no, he played. He, I think Swan oh, played the week before. I went up with Vuate and yeah, maybe King, King, even King. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And I remember you boys went up, and I was like, well, "This is interesting." You know, they're they're killing it in flag. Like, I wonder why they're going up. I remember it's going to be interesting to see how these boys go. And mate, you fucking scored a double. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. scored a double in your yeah. debut, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was against Canberra. Yeah. Fuck it was off, North mate. Oval. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's pretty. It's looking back, it's pretty cool that like, I guess I was like a Bears junior and like. Yeah, from, like yeah, not many boys kind of can come through the Bears pathways. All the, it was all a hard through. pathway to go. Like a lot of people, yeah. because Bears is known for the juniors. You go there for two days and you go, "This is shit. I'm going somewhere else." Well, yeah, well, that's what a lot for, of boys. for some, I guess. But like, yeah. Yeah, for me, they, I give credit to the Bears. They gave me the opportunity. I yeah, mean, they exactly gave me a right. genuine pathway that I wasn't going to have, and yeah, yeah. They, looked, they looked after me the whole way and g- gave me the, I guess the footy awareness and stuff well, like that because their cup is so strong their, their cup team's their cup is strong. so strong it's just, like when I say that about the Bears before like it's just their juniors that just aren't yeah. that strong like, have, I guess they do have a bit of a stigma that like if you don't make a side you go to the Bears exactly that's yeah, what I'm trying to say what, yeah, so like yeah, it's more they pick up the boys that are falling off they're falling off yeah but, but their the cup team is so strong that's yeah. why when you went up there I was like well, this is going to be like a big, big this game, is a big yeah. game for Presto. I definitely thought of it like that as well. It was yeah. a big, big opportunity and um, yeah, I just kind of ran with it. It was good. Ran with it. You scored a double, <laughs> you scored a double, you freak. <laughs> you ran with it. <laughs> then, so you you stayed up there for how many games? It was like four, I, only, I think I only played two two so games you, in a row, then kind of came back because I think I only, I only went up because of a couple injuries. 
at, right, okay. to the Bears. The oh, okay. Bears, boys, Bears boys got injuries. But then, yeah, kind of And the flag it. team was strong. The flag we team. were killing it in flag. Yeah. But, um, you, I think, start of the year, we were, the team was going crazy. I think you only lost like four games that year. Yeah, we, we ended up winning the minor premiership and yeah. kind of everything kind of fell off the rails then. But, yeah, I, um, I was there. <laughs> I was watching. I wasn't playing. Didn't get a, didn't get a lick of playing. But I, I was there. Um, I, I was watching. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, we I went up, went kind of back and forth between it throughout yep. the year. I think I played half and half by the end of the year. But yeah. Um, yeah, the end of the year was kind of disappointing to be honest, and looking back at it. For the flag? Just for both. Oh, really? For both, because I remember- Were you in the finals for Bears? Yeah, so I played the first two weeks uh, in cup. So yep. it was that, uh, the first week of finals was against Penrith. Yeah. But it was the, that side that, um, like the NRL side had rested everyone. So their cup side, most of the like, cup players were playing NRL. So the first week's team in Penrith were like majority Ron Massey and Jersey Flag boys playing. Cup. Really, so it was like a it was like a third string side technically. Yeah, okay. But they still beat us. Oh <laughs> still, no! So yeah. you so you should you should have won that game. We sh- we should have won. We sh- looking back at it, yes, we should have won that game. Wow. Uh, week one of the finals. Yeah, okay. But um, we but got, got done. But you guys came first in Bears, didn't you? Yeah, it might have been first or second. So it you was, got another, it was you got another top, chance, was, didn't you? I think it was one v two. I'm pretty sure. Did you get another chance for Bears? Yeah, we got another, we got yeah. another chance. But then straight sets, I lost to the Bulldogs the next week. And they were a strong side, weren't they? They were a pretty strong side. They ended up, yeah. So it ended up being Penrith Dogs grand final. Oh, so wow. the two teams we lost to. Wow, that's, that's yeah, heavy. Yeah. And then um, came back and played the last game of the flag. And, um, oh, that was your last game? Yeah, which was – I hadn't played flag for five or six weeks, but came back. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we lost And they were on a losing Penrith streak. As well. And, yeah, and yeah. the flag fell off massively. Massively, yeah. And they went five in a row losses. Yeah. So that was – um, Three finals games, three wow. losses. What, three a, what an exit to a, what a, what a, exit <laughs> to a great score. year. <laughs> just fucking three losses the on the drop. Yeah, that was bad. the year Penrith on four in a row. Yeah, that was the year. Yeah, that four was tra- crazy. Wow, fuck. Yeah. Shout out Panthers. I'm, oh, a, no. I'm a Panthers fan, man. So <laughs> I had sure. an opportunity to deny them twice and I got done both times. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Not many people get the chance to be in final for two different teams <laughs> yeah, and, then get, and done. get done Does by the same <laughs> team. <laughs> That's funny. You know what's funny? You probably <laughs> lost to guys that you versed in that Bears one. Katoa. He's playing both weeks. Wow. Yeah. I know. Wow, that fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, no, I know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. looking back, it's um, a learning experience. <laughs> yeah. So, so you had that. You had a great year, even though you're like, not the best finals run. Yeah. You had, you had a great it. year, and then you were getting ready for the. Um, the 2020. Yeah. Yeah. 2023. Yeah. yeah 2023. So I'd, I'd actually um, got offered from a dog's. Uh, 20, start like early 2022 okay. around April so yeah. I guess that also helped my confidence um, knowing that they oh you signed that deal yeah, yeah so I signed that yeah, pretty okay. early on it's probably just before I made my cup debut right just okay. before that Canberra game so right, okay. uh, it was pretty early on to be honest um, yep should have signed it after and got another <laughs> another <laughs> few zeros nah, nah I was super <laughs> stoked to be just, you know what I mean yeah given it you know, yeah. it's like we were like looking back we remember like those days or Mate, Could just be able to go full time and mate, not, not be doing that still. Not be doing five AM shifts. Shifts, yeah. You know? yeah. Mate, I can't just. I'm shocked. I've like, got to go back to it. Like, yeah, man, you used to go to that gym and then you used to go do your work yeah, and from come back. Five, from what like seven? I'd probably get there about six thirty. Yeah, six forty five. Yeah, because we finished gym about what six. Can you run through your routine during the flag? So give me give me like yeah. just your breakdown of your day because I think this is good for like a lot of boys who are in similar positions. Yeah, I'm sure, and I'm sure there's a lot of boys that there's are. There's a lot of boys. Even Taysen, remember yeah, Taysen? Taysen, yeah, you know, he's, he's yeah. playing reserve grade now, and he's he's he doing was, well. He's, yeah, he's doing fantastic. Yeah. But he had a similar thing. Like, he, man, he was on the tools. Yeah, early, well, like, all day to the boys on that like, on the tools or like concrete. So that's that's ne- even like it's next level, man. Yeah, like, the tool has your butt and then go to training. No, nah, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, it's full credit to them, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for me, it was like probably four. I think four fifteen. 4.20 wake up, get over to the gym. So it's probably a 40, 45 minute drive over to PCYC at Daisyville was, um, the gym was there and then do our session, uh, drive drive back, um, start delivering my parcels and then, yeah, and come back over in the afternoon Man. after a full day's work and train and then go home. Yeah. If I could get a bit of uni done, do a bit of uni and- oh, You're doing uni at the same I was time? Do, yeah, well, 2021, I'd started uni. Oh my God. So I was doing that as well. So it was, um, yeah, it was, Pretty busy time. Let me run through my routine. <laughs> Play PlayStation until 1 a.m. in the morning. Get up at 4.30, get to the gym at 5. I had the most intense lift of my life. Go home, sleep. 
I was wondering why you're outlifting me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're that outlifting him. Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah. Um, uh, always bothered me. You <laughs> <laughs> were too. Yeah, oh, you were <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah, this is our press like this. I do 170, you do 180. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is what I mean. Presto be like, you want, you want this weight? And I go, I'll put 10 on. And yeah. you see him just fucking. Yeah. It was, when me and Presto used to train together, it was whoever did whoever did it first was always shitty because the other guy would be like, oh, I'll just chuck five just on. Like, just yeah. the little, like, it didn't matter. But the other guy would just be like, fuck. So we'd always be like, oh, you go first this set. And the other guy would be like, no, no, you go. You go. It was like, so accurate. It was the best. It was and good, but like it made us... Mate, you pushed out. It was good, and I, I love I love training with you, man, because yeah. it was just every session was just intense and it was very accountable. Yeah, and we, even when we would do core, I fucking hate doing core. Cool, yeah. But you'd be like, all right, let's go, guys. You know, like, and then would the set would be. That's what I mean. He's a psycho. The set would be <laughs> one minute on, and then like um, t- 10, 20 seconds off, then go again. One minute on, and then break it down, and then Presto would just be like, oh, we should just you know do two together and then the other two together. We'll just do it like that so I'll get it done fast. And then I would be like, well, f- fuck that. Let's just do the whole thing the whole together. Like, you know, I tried to try and one up him <laughs> and, and do the whole thing. The- <laughs> and then me and Presto are shaking, looking at each other like, who's going to drop? Foot? Like, mate, I remember people like, that's, that's not what you're supposed to be. I'm like, I'm not going to hold it. I'm not going to hold it. We're both just grunting up. Yeah. <laughs> and be like, good session, man. Yeah. But I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> but, um, oh, that's the best. But uh, yeah, no. And, and yeah, man, you're, your schedule was just crazy at that time. But that's that's what I mean. Like that mindset that you were in was just like you were locked in. Yeah, like looking back at it, I don't even like I don't think I realized at the time how how hard I was going and how like how much um like, Is that harder than what you're doing now? That 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 schedule that you had? Like, harder than what I'm doing now? Yeah. Because obviously training's more intensity, but yeah. that's your job now. That's what yeah. you that's what you do for a living. I'd say it's different the different aspects. Like obviously when I was delivering the mail, it wasn't as intense. So like whilst I was still being active it wasn't the intensity that we do train at and stuff like that so mm. um but I don't know it's kind of just back then I found a rhythm and I was kind of just in it in, in, in it and then, uh, looking back I didn't really think about it at the time I was kind of yeah. just living my life as it was normal yeah. yeah that's yeah but like there was definitely days where like, like sometimes I'd do early morning shifts before I'd come to the gym as well yeah I remember that. yeah so like <laughs> used to come in his post gear <laughs> What the fuck are you What's doing? Going? What are you doing, you yeah, weirdo? I used to do a bit of sorting every now and then for dad as well, which is yeah. like sorting the mail before it gets delivered. So I'd, yeah, right. So those days were the yeah. That's probably the days I got the most head noise because I was very yeah. limited sleep and that's yeah, there. yeah. That's mad. That's mad. That's but it's a testament, man. It's like <laughs> look where you got from it. You know yeah, what I mean? no, like, I, that's what I, I look. I, I credit that for. Um, I don't know, kind of creating who I am today. Just yeah, the mentality I kind of try to live by. It's yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, and so. So we were talking about, you got to the Bulldogs, you had your contract in early 2022, you finished 2023 with a great year, shit finals run, and now you're at Bulldogs. Yeah, so the end of 22, end of 2022, yeah, uh, November we started pre-season at Bulldogs. And how was that? Yeah, mate, it was crazy. I remember I remember walking in and um, so I signed a top 30 contract, but I didn't, no one really knew who I was. Yeah, I remember I kind of walked into the sheds and I was like, Who's this guy with a filthy lit, mullet? Literally. Filthy uh, mullet, chip <laughs> tooth. <laughs> Chip love, loves, loves. <laughs> Chip too. Sorry, bro. Nah. Sorry, sorry, bro. Nah, don't worry, sorry, bro. bro. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm about to get hammered. I'm about to get hammered. There's a reason why I have a hat on, guys. <laughs> Shit hair long. Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> Um, How many fingers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the podcast, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, that's nah, been Jake Preston. Love you, guys. Yeah. Love you, um, where were we? Um, you walked in and everyone hated you. No, nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I remember walking in. I was just like, I felt kind of out of place. Like no one knew who I was. And yeah. um, who was yeah. your first person you met? Oh, it's hard to even remember. I, I think it might have been Braden Burns. Pretty sure. Okay. He, he, yeah, he was come up and said good day to me. Um, but yeah, all the boys are heaps accepting. But I just remember like walking in and just. Um, oh, just out of your depth. Just look, yeah, looking around, and go, wow. Yeah, what am, yeah. Do yeah. I do, like, what am I doing here? This is crazy. Because yeah. Josh had a car in the corner. Well, just he like, hadn't come back yet. He was. Oh, he was at a yeah. World Cup. A couple of the boys were at the World Cup. Oh um, yes. But when he came back, it was, yeah, it was crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know me, like I, I'm a massive like just love footy, and yeah. Yeah, walking into that environment it was just crazy. Like yeah. Because like, you're a I'm fan like, too, you know. Yeah, like, massive. You've always been a fan at yeah. the end of the day. I've always, yeah, I've always loved the game and just. Um, 
I don't know. It's kind of like that. Yeah, you're kind of like a kid again, I guess, walking in yeah. there for the first time. But yeah, then try not to be too. Yeah, try not try to be, not but you try like, to act serious. Like, you know what I mean? Try to act like, yeah, yeah just be normal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. then it hits you once you're doing your yo-yos or that. You're like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is real. Yeah, yeah, this <laughs> is real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So what, what was that like sort of experience like, that first sort of just pre-season and, and going into that trial? Yeah, I was, um, it was crazy. Uh, like looking, looking back at it, I, I just kind of took every day, mm. embraced every day, like – um, just the opportunity I'd been given to, to like learn my craft every day, and yeah, I just, I, I just remember I, I just love it. I just loved it. I still, what, do what love was it. what was something that like, you know, you credit to just staying in that like grind? You know what I mean? Because a lot of yeah. boys having a great year like you do, the drop off's massive. You know yeah. what I mean? Like they go, oh, I'm in NRL now. I've got the contract. I'm yeah. sort of kick back, feet up. Like what what makes you just go like? I'm here. Like I'm like let's yeah. go, let's go deeper. You know, like I think it's just wanting to be better. Yeah, do you okay. know what I mean? Like, obviously. And do you reckon that's you loving the grind more than actually being a professional footy player? I think it's I think it's about both go par and par. I love the I can in hand. I love um, I love the grind, but also love the sport, and yeah, I okay. want to be able to achieve the most I can out of it. Yeah, okay. Um, and I think that comes when you love it. Yeah, okay. So you're able to you're able to work as hard as you want to if you love what you're doing. Yeah, okay. That's how that's how I see it. But yeah, um I agree. But yeah, so that first preseason that yeah, just, just balls to the wall every day, just trying my best, trying to learn as much as possible. Yeah. Asking heaps of questions from all the all the big dogs that probably got annoyed. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. sure they I'm sure they, um, Any any boys that like you sort of like want to shout out that were like big big and you know, making that work. Oh, for you? I'd like to be like they were all they were all so good to me. Like um obviously Viliami, Kick Yeah. Um when he came back from the World Cup, he, I was just soaking up um, knowledge from him. I was like okay. a sponge, just trying to get as much information out of him as possible because yep. he just come off the back of winning a comp for Penrith and he'd yeah. come over. And, two Pete, like, was that the two Pete, wasn't it? Um, was that the first one? Kick, kick, oh no, that was two Pete, yeah. Yeah, Sorry, two Pete, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, so. I and at the time, he, you know, Kick was probably one of the best second roles. Yeah, it, well, yeah, I, he I was, believe he was. He was yeah, yeah, he, definitely, he? yeah. yeah. But, um, obviously he had an injury last year, but he'll get, he'll get back to... He's, yeah. He is one of the best back rollers in the game. and Yeah, still. Yeah, no it's doubt. just crazy. It's just, um, defensively, if you watch his movements and stuff, it's crazy when you actually, really? when you actually yeah. watch it. Um, watch it, watch him closely, you'll see what I mean. It's, um, yeah, he's a, he's a beast. But, yeah. um, and all the, all the other boys, all the leaders in that, they, they helped me. Reed Mahoney, another one, he's... he's um, and he was new to the club that he year. He was new to the club as well. Yeah. And, yeah, him and Fox, they're kind of boys that just... They just give you confidence. They, they make sure, like, just tell you to back yourself. And yeah. And in terms of communicating, always they're always open. Just yeah, to tell you, like, don't be afraid to talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And that's that's something I'm, I'm learning and still learning to be better at. And yeah, it's something I really need to improve on. And and then putting a lot of work into it, just improving my communication. So. Yeah. Fucking oath, man. Is, yeah. That, is that what your girlfriend says? Or <laughs> <is> that, <laughs> is that, I'm not. I'm not learning there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I don't think you can. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can ever win that battle, yeah. brother. Um, uh, yeah, everyone's mad, man. So, so you topping off the preseason, um, and then you're coming into trials. Now, I, I don't remember if it was the first trial, but you, you didn't start the trial, did you? Um, so I started the first trial. Started 2023. It was against Canberra. Yeah. Uh, down in Maria, uh, South Coast, and it was yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, first kind of exposure in the NRL kind of scene. Uh, like obviously it was only a trial, but it was just yeah, it was cool to get yeah. my first taste. And yeah, that was good. So yeah. we only only ended up playing forty minutes. Yeah, the first half. Did you, did you think that you were going to start that first trial? Were there still boys away or? No, yeah, um, kicks was rested. So okay, that's probably how I got my opportunity. Okay, um, but it, besides that, it was pretty much full squad. Okay. Um, but Kicks was out, so you're like, oh, Kicks I, was out. I yeah, I've got an opportunity because Kicks is out. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I played pretty good. Played pretty, pretty decent footy. Um, and then the next week, the full, like, proper full NRL squad was yep. pretty much named. Uh, Kicks was back, and I started on the bench. Yeah, okay. But then Kicks. And did you think at that time that's going to be your role? You're like, oh, well, I've got the Dalian second rower. And who was the other second rower? Raymond Fatella Mariner was the other back rower at yeah. the time. So yeah. you were sort of like, okay, I've got these two starters these, over these me. Two, yeah, it was my really first year in the players. NRL. Yeah. This is probably going to be my role. Yeah, looking back, I was just, I was just trying to get care. my. Yeah, I didn't care. I was just trying to get my spot. Like just, just get on the team somehow. Yeah, and, and you, get on the team whatever, sheet anyway. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do yeah. whatever role they want me to do. That's, yeah. yeah, just to be able to play NRL is that's yeah. the goal. Okay. And uh, yeah, looking back, I was just putting my best foot forward every time I got on the field, and yeah. Um, then, then yeah, in the second trial, kicks unfortunately got a head knock, um, so I ended up playing a fair few more minutes than I think they expected me to. Yep. 
I kind of held my own and stepped yeah, up. managed to get a bench spot round one. Yeah. So when you when they told you that you're going to be playing round one, like what's that feeling like? That was buzzy. It yeah. was crazy. Um, yeah, looking back, we're kind of in the in the theatre at uh, Belmore Sports Ground there, and it was probably nine days out from the game. So yeah. we like we weren't really expecting anything at the time. Yeah. And I think I think looking, back, I'm pretty sure Sonny Bill Williams and Rennie Matula came in and talked. Oh yeah. Um, previously, I'm not, I can't remember if they were in the room when Ciro announced, but it was around that time. And then Ciro announced that me and Polly would be de- Polly Alamotti. Okay. Uh, we'd be debuting in round one. So wow. Yeah, I just remember like it's kind of a it's a feeling you can't really explain. It just kind of rushes yeah. over you, and I just like it's like excitement, relief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's all just all these mixtures of feelings blended into one, and it's just. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like one of the best moments wow, of your life. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, you've been buzzing. I was nine proper, days out too. Uh, yeah, nine days out. So, I was proper buzzing and the nerves. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> you know me. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. But <laughs> one of the big things that Luca, he was our first episode, spoke about was yeah. when he got told, "Hey, mate, I'm thinking about picking you this week. You know, you can't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone or anything." <laughs> did you tell everyone? Did you tell did you, like what was what was like obviously uh, the thing? Uh, we so just like you just went home, mum, dad, I'm mom, in, my girlfriend, I'm, I'm in, boys, <laughs> fucking get the tickets this weekend. Oh no, nah, you were, obviously they they told me to kind of keep it hutch a little yeah. bit, but obviously I could call my mum, yeah, call yeah, my dad, yeah. let all my kind of close family know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I kind of told them to try and keep it quiet, but yeah, um, the news kind of got it. I, Stuff kind of got out. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, there's quick. an injury, anyways. Like, yeah, that so. goes. Uh, it was it was round one as well, so yeah. Kind of, um, I don't know. It was us. That, I don't. Yeah, I don't think it was us that got it out. But st- you started seeing stuff kind of saying yeah. the possibility that yeah, me and Paulie might be debuting. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. people just kind of and then ran with it straight away. People just ran with it. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was a crazy week, and yeah, I remember I was just buzzing the whole week. Yeah, uh, man. Wow. And what was um? Do you have any rituals or anything? Like before Free that game. week, like, yeah. Oh. Do you have any like building up to the week? Do you have any rituals? Obviously train well, eat well. Yeah, you know, just train well, eat well. Get um, sleep and. I'm more, I'm more like rituals, like not so, not so much rituals, but just like routine, probably 48 hours, 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, okay. Before. What is it? Well, it's obviously just my, do- my mostly nutrition. Yeah. Big pasta, are you a pizza nah, guy? I'm not a, I'm not a pasta guy. I'm, a, I'm more like just like steak. Big aioli guy? Oh. <laughs> 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 no. I do like my own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep your mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, just steak. I love a little bit of pasta. Um, not so much anymore, but more yeah. just yeah, steak and um, a little bit of rice. Yeah, yeah. Chicken and so that. just get nutrition right. Yeah, just get my nutrition right, and then I don't know. Game day, I'm a bit weird. Oh, tell yeah. me, bro. Get weird on me. Get weird on me, bro. Get weird on me. What do you do? No, nah, I just I just kind of hang out myself. I don't really like yeah. it too much. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you, you don't My worry missus kind of knows to leave me alone on game day. Don't come. Oh, really? Yeah. Just tell her, go, like, don't. Yeah. yeah. She knows that. Yeah. She knows that I don't really like being. Um, so you're by yourself? Like, yeah. No, 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 I can I can see people, but. Yeah, yeah, but like you. Don't don't bother me too much. Kind don't of call thing. me with problems. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then. And how does your family respond to that? No, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, yeah. Because my family's fucking not. They don't. So they I tell don't. my family, hey, guys, like, before I play a game, like, obviously I'm not in the NRL or anything, but before I play my games, like, just don't, just don't call don't, me with problems. Like, yeah. Just don't like, I, you know. I don't need anything mate, else to I'll be in the locker room. i wait for I my game. But before my game, mum rings me. Hey, darling, how you going? Just say, we can't, we haven't got the tickets. Have you got tickets to get in the di-? I'm no. like, I'm sorry, mum. Mum, leave me alone. But I'm like, mum, I'm running out in like 20 minutes. Like, can I, can this, I shouldn't have had my phone on me. That's but I'm like, but it's your mum. You know yeah, what I mean? So I know, I know. And she's like, well, just good. Have you got your mouth guard? Have you got your I was like, yeah, mum, I've got the mouth guard. Like, and this is my first game before um, Jersey flag. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah. I was like, mum, just fuck, just sort it. Can you sort it out? And she goes, I'm not paying for tickets. Yeah. If you've got them, and I was like, oh, it's hard to give my manager Tez shit out, Tez to go run them down to her. Yeah. My family is terrible great at it. Great Tez. Yeah, great Tez, man. But my family is terrible. So I'm good. I'm uh, glad I'm glad for you that your family responded yeah, to that. Yeah, they're pretty they're pretty good. Like, full credit to them. They're um, yeah, they're very good. But in terms of um just weird stuff I do, I just I'm just very like routine based minute. Like, yeah, okay. Kind of broken down in the periods. All right, break it down um, for me. Just like stretching and stuff. So Yeah, okay. Four hours. Or you, so, like, let's say, so this weekend you're playing uh, 7.30? Para 5.30. Be 5.30? Yeah. 5.30 against Para. So, what, so what's your what's your routine before that? So 
Yeah, so my breakfast will be probably... sleep like sleep in though. Do you sleep in or? I try not to sleep in too much. That's okay. that's one of the things I'm funny about. If I sleep in too much, then you feel tired. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't like doing that. But yeah. then also don't like I don't like laying around as well. So yeah, okay. try to get out for a walk and stuff. And then yeah, it just has to be really routine and has to be the same kind of thing I do every week. And if okay, it, if it works that week, then I'll so do what is it sleep in like eight. Yeah, eight, breakfast. Eight, breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? It's always the same. Just eggs with. Eggs on toast and yeah, pretty basic. Yep. I don't really, yeah, uh, don't really eat that much on game day. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I kind of had to adjust it a little bit when you're playing at night time. But okay, it was like obviously flag and cup was like that three o'clock. You can yeah, kind of yeah. get away with it, but when you're playing seven thirty, eight o'clock, it's a bit, it's a bit different. different. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you have a nap before you play? Yeah, now I've I've kind of if it's a later game I do. Yeah, uh, about one or two o'clock I'll have a nap. Uh, but yeah, only only for half an hour. No, yeah, no longer. Nothing, otherwise, yeah. I'll start wigging out. Yeah, um, okay. Little and Navy SEAL nap, mate. Yeah. <laughs> little Navy SEAL nap. But then, yeah, just once I get to the ground, it's more like just like little 10 minute intervals. I've broken everything down into yeah. with my music. I've got certain songs I listen to. Really? First what songs do you listen to? I listen to last. What song? Oh, I love Hilltop Hoods to start yeah, off. Hilltop Hoods, Hilltop yeah, Hilltop Hoods. Yeah. From the highest, highest motherfucker. <laughs> <I've done. laughs> the grouse, bro. They're the grouse. They're the grouse. I love a bit of Hilltop. They're the best. Oh, and then I finish off. Uh, with Nickelback, my last song is yeah. Nickelback song. Yeah, do you right. like? Do you know Nickelback? Not really. No, but I know him. But like, I'm you should check it out. It's actually uh, yeah. What, I think it's the world's up. most hated band, but I love yeah. them. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, they yeah. fucking get nice. you going. So, and then do you put like a left shoe on, right yeah, shoe on. Yeah, it's always left and right. Yeah. Really, what about your taping? Because I don't get taped. I get taped. Yeah, so that's always in my routine. But um, so nothing, like, yeah, but like, what, do you get taped left side? Nah, or? nah, nah. No, you don't matter. care. I'm not. I'm not that bad. Just left boot, right boot. That's it. Left uh, boot, right boot. Like left boot, like left sock, left boot. Nah, or? just the boots. Just the oh, boot. just boot. Always yeah. left, right. Yeah, so that's it. That's it. Yeah, wow. Well. Nothing too serious. Nothing, nothing too serious. Yeah, nah. <laughs> mate, that's a whole I'm, list. <laughs> mate, oh, mate, I roll in 30 minutes of before the game. I love the boys too. Yeah, I'm yeah. just like, I, can't, I don't have any routine. Hey, that's yeah. probably why I'm not playing. That <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so you had your debut. How was that? So you, no, got, was, you got named to the list. You did all your weird shit before it. <laughs> and then you got, uh, <laughs> got to the game. And um, how was that? How was that debut running out? Yeah, no, nah, it was... Um, that was who, pretty, who was it against? It was against Manly at Brookvale. Brookvale Oval. Oh, that's, well, that's mad for you, man. Yeah. Because that's, that's where, you know, that's where you're from. Uh, literally, the, my school is literally across the road. Like, yeah. just next, Legit, next door. You probably so. warm, did you warm up in, on the school? Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't. We oh, ended okay. up warming up on the Because for flag, we li- warmed up. We on, warmed up on the air. Because yeah. I played a couple of flag. We used to, they used to give us the away teams, the uh, school school sheds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so um, that was crazy. Just, yeah, kind of full circle moment. Yeah, um, that's mad. They'd been across the road from school and- like we used to go there at lunchtime and play tackle footy and Fuck, man, kind of get away from the teachers because yeah, you get in trouble for playing tackle. How good is that? Yeah. So yeah, to be able to make my debut there, it's pretty cool. And How was it? How was the debut? It was crazy. It was yeah. crazy. Oh, obviously, we didn't get the result. And, um, we ended up getting done. But uh, looking back, it was, um, yeah, it was heaps of people. Who, who, who was in your position? Who was across from you? When I went on, I'll, I went on about 25, 30 minutes in. Oh, you off bench? Yeah, I came off the bench. Yeah. Yep. So my first game was off the bench. And I went on to right back row. So I think I, think I was marking Kelma to a lungy. Yeah, And wow. then I think Benny Trojevic towards the end of the game. So. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, kind of, kind of uh, as soon as I got on, we kind of got a sim bin and ended up playing a bit of centre as well. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. I <laughs> it thought was you were crazy. Playing a bit of centre, hey? Yeah, I ended up playing a bit of centre, man down. So that was pretty crazy. Um, yeah. Welcome to first grade. There's yeah, so what? Turbo coming at you. <laughs> or was it? Yeah. T- turbo came at you, didn't you? Um, no, you didn't. Oh, he just, yeah, they just, they just they realized that there were 12 men down and just kept stripping you Just kept coming at us. But yeah, we did all right. But I think we conceded one try in the, in the time it was off. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. That's all right. One try, mate. Against try Turbo. My try my best. And that was Turbo when he was flying, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was that was not that round, was one, round one. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so. So who, so who gave you your sort of, fur, you know, welcome to the NRL moment? Like, who was the first person, like, that put you on your ass yeah. or put their shoulder through your chest? No, nah, like, it's pretty well, uh, pretty well known. I ran, um, Ran straight at Jack Travoyevich and yeah, yeah just <laughs> don't have to say much more. <laughs> I wanted I'll to put, see what I'll, I'll see what everyone's clip, talking about. I'll, I'll find the clip and I'll put it up. <laughs> but did it? Was it, nah, it was just fun. It was, I don't think it looked too significant, but he just got me right under. He just felt it. Yeah. Oh yeah, just, just right under him. <laughs> yeah. <this> <laughs> yeah. Struggle to play the ball. Yeah. Did he say sorry? Because nah, no, nah, there's nah. a rumor going around that every time he tackles someone so real sorry. hard, he just goes sorry, mate. So like uh, he's probably the know. nicest guy ever. Uh, but yeah, he's he's a really nice bloke, but I can't remember. I can't remember if he said sorry or not. <laughs> you just you seen stars. I <laughs> nah, I was, he's, yeah, he took the wind out of me. Yeah. <laughs> so you um you end up playing 20 games that season. 
yeah, had six tries. Like you've had a fantastic season as a as a rookie. Like, how how are you feeling week to week? Because I I know like personally that you were pretty sore. Like you're pretty banged up coming yep. towards the end of that year. So like, yep. what was going on there? Like, yeah, no, I was just um, yeah the season. Like it was my first full NRL season. So obviously taking it week by week. Taking yeah. it, yeah, I was taking it week by week. Really, just loving it. Um, and yeah, obviously the body starts starts to feel it. Um, yeah, so. So had a couple of little shoulder. I had a shoulder, bit of a shoulder niggle. I was just kind of dealing with and kind of pushing through. And yeah, we got kind of got to um, the back end of the year. And obviously, my body was starting to feel a bit more. But like I said, I was just taking it week by week and just trying to put my best foot forward every time I got out there. So just dealing with that. Yeah, it was obviously <clears throat> tough, but it was good. Like kind of um, that's what you have to do as a, I guess as an NRL player. Is most most boys are never fully fit. After round two or three. Never 100%, man. Never 100%. No one plays it like, you know, one of the famous quotes from LeBron James is he never plays 100%. Yeah. No, no one ever plays at 100%. 100%, yeah. Maybe some in round one, but after that, yeah. everyone's carrying their own niggles. So it's just little things you've got to push through. And um, yeah, that's, that's kind of being, being an NRL was that, player. Was that a big thing that. for you? Managing just that, just that like mental strength, like sort of that, that head noise that you're having of like, I've got to push through this. Like, I just got to like, you know, I'm hurting, but I'm not. Hurt, like I'm not, not uh, injuring not, myself, you know. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not making it worse myself. It's just not a pain it worse. tolerance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. That's the thing. I wasn't making any worse. It was just, um, just pain tolerance. Just pain tolerance. Making sure you got it as good as you can every week to make sure it's ready to go. Yeah. Um, that was probably the biggest thing, and just, yeah, making sure you're in the right headspace to get out there and do your best. Yeah. That's that's the biggest thing. Because you guys, you guys had some big signings coming into that Bulldogs year, and you had some like really good players, and it what didn't the season didn't really work out the way a lot of people thought it was going to work out. And wh why, do you, why do you think that was? What do you think it was just a... It, there was a few injuries, like there yeah. was, you know... I think we started we started the year off pretty well. Yeah, Obviously, did. we didn't win, win round one, but round two, we went down to Melbourne and did the job there and then... Big job. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was a good night, but... <laughs> real good night. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, no, nah, so we started off all right, and then, yeah, I don't know, I guess the wheels kind of fell off a little bit. Um, obviously, injuries didn't help... Um, but yeah, just yeah, I can't really put my finger on it completely. But yeah, it just didn't go to plan, and yeah. by the back end of the year, just yeah, things weren't turning out how we were hoping for it. Because because I the way I look at that bulldog squad is you know you guys had some like real talented players in yeah. that squad, and it felt sort of like you guys had all this talent. Like, mate, you had Matt Burton. That could put the ball like you know to you space, yeah. you know, and then you had Josh Adekar, like one of the fastest guys in the NRL, you know, and then you had uh, Penka Jr., one yeah. of the biggest hitters, you know. You had Vili Army for a little bit here and there, like you had, you know, you had um, Marnie, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you had some like real good talent, and it was just like I just wonder why it just didn't click. Like yeah. obviously, obviously, it's not going to click after one preseason, and everyone yeah. just everyone just did the World Cup, and everyone's like, it, you sort of have a shorter preseason to get that connection. Yeah, but just like. You guys obviously have gotten a lot better. And it's getting, and it's gonna, and you guys are definitely going to be. Like, yeah, really looking forward this year. Yeah, yeah like yeah. you guys are going to be a top ten. Like, yeah. you, once you guys make it click, it's going to be a real big problem. Yeah, but it was just, it was just interesting because you had so many specialists, like so many people yeah. that are so talented at, like individual skills. Yeah, you know I don't. I, mean? I just, I think um, last year we didn't really get the opportunity for everyone to be on at the same time. Probably, yeah, okay. Probably one factor. They probably didn't get enough games in a row of everyone. Yeah, fully okay. Fit, just a different yeah. lineup every week. Yeah, really. Yeah, it was a bit, yeah. bit like that at times, but um. Now on, on to the 2024, I'm really, really positive, yeah, mate. How's, how's it feeling? How, how's, how's the squad feeling like, you know? How's everyone? Mate, it's been, it's been an unbelievable preseason, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, um, the intensity is next level. We've, everyone's been working extremely hard, and I just yeah. can't wait to get out there, man. It's be, wow, yeah, watch, watching a few of the boys play already, like even watching, you know, Josh playing the All-Stars game, like, yeah. man, he's looking strong. Like yeah, everyone. Foxy and his diet, he's loving it. He's mate, his, mate, how big does he look? I know, he's, oh, he's, he's yeah. fucking huge. He's just been eating meat, I think. Just, uh, oh, is he doing carnival? carnival. Yeah, what a he sicko. Loves, he loves it. Apparently that ruined your guts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that ruined your guts, Oh, nah, yeah, yes. I gave it a go for a bit. How'd good. you go? No, I did all right, I did all yeah? right. Yeah, it was all right. Apparently it fucking ruined your guts. I was all right, I was all right. Are you all good? Yeah, it was sweet. No I've, massive I've bombs people, dropping? I've, I've heard people say that. Yeah. I've heard people say <laughs> yeah. that. Um, How long did you do it for? I did it for about eight to ten weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Was it yeah. good? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, it was, Why'd um, you go off it? I don't know. I just kind of felt like I needed a little bit more. Like, I, I wasn't eating any carbs or anything, so yeah, yeah, yeah. just personally. Well, but, carbs, you know, help with the size too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just, I don't know. I gave it a go and it was, yeah, I enjoyed it, but yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Oh, so, sorry, before we go to the, uh, this season coming up, I want to talk about the end of 
that season that you had. So it, yep. was, it was a great season. Like, don't get me wrong. It, was, it wasn't where, like, I think you guys could have gone. Yeah. But, you know, there's a, few, a lot of few factors, like you said, injuries. And you didn't have the same lineup. But you personally had an outstanding season. Like, Thank everyone you. from top to bottom, everyone says you have an outstanding season. And you didn't probably did get enough. I didn't think you got a lot of media coverage over that time. But every time you did get coverage, it was nothing but praise, which yeah. is good you yep. know what i mean it's, yep. it's better than just getting criticized every 10 seconds you know yeah. what i mean yeah. but you know you finished the ga- you finished the season um with you know rookie of the year for your club um was rookie of the year the nrl no no nah, nah, I, I got suspended so i was ruled out of that so i wasn't able you to guess it's, oh you get suspended so yeah i got two weeks for a hip drop uh, and you get knocked out of it yeah so as soon as you get two weeks i think you can't you're not in- ineligible for any award, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's, that's fucking saying. bullshit. Oh, it is. It is what it nah, is. No, fuck that, Presto. <laughs> don't, be, don't be nice. <laughs> fuck that. Nah. So you got you got done for that and so you weren't eligible? I wasn't eligible, nah. nah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got some thoughts about that. Nah. <laughs> so you got so you got Rookie of the Year for Bulldogs. Yep. And then you got um, the Members Player yep. of the Year. Yep. And then you also got, was it Best Player? of Player the, of the Year, yeah. Player of the Year. Yeah. Fuck man, in yeah. a, in a, in a in a group of you know boys who are fucking tough, like you said, the Daly M second row of the year, Viliami, obviously he didn't play yeah. um, a lot that year, but still, like you're surrounded by guys that you know. I'm sure you watched on TV, you, like yeah, you watched 100%. those boys, you know. So <laughs> yeah. that would have been like a pretty amazing feeling. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy looking back at it. Like obviously, like you said, you have all these amazing players in your side and. I just feel like I'm a battler, just trying my best every week. That's that's yeah. how I kind of go out. Just always put my best foot forward. But yeah, to be recognised for it is pretty. Did um, you think you were gonna get it? Nah, I didn't. Nah. Fuck, you would have freaked out when you got nah, it. What, yeah, what it were you crazy. doing when you getting all that silverware? Uh, what were you doing? Were you just like <laughs> fucking <laughs> pass it around? Like, what, what were you thinking? Like, were you just like, oh mate, it was yeah, it was. You know me, I'm not very good at public speaking. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> and you hate it. Yeah, yeah. You hate it. Uh, yeah. Um, so I had to get up a couple of times and talk and. We're a couple of times. You have to get up three times. <laughs> they should have just blend it to one yeah, to give you a break. Uh, no, nah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was. It was a pretty cool night. Looking back at it, um, definitely something I hold on to forever. But one hundred percent. Yeah, just looking forward to um, trying to go bigger and better this year. Yeah, for sure, mate. For sure, because I know all the boys that have you on the fantasy teams were absolutely cheering. All the boys, all the boys are going, mate. It's going from two hundred k to four hundred k. Let's go. <laughs> How good is that? Oh, it's gold. That's gold. Um. So yeah. So now you're at a. Uh, have Bulldogs again for the 2024 season. You got a, you're playing this Thursday, Friday? Um, we're on Saturday. Saturday. Um, playing Saturday, 5.30 against yep. Para. Yep. How you feeling, man? How's it? Man, I can't wait. Can't wait. Um, Squad looking good? Yeah, boys are looking good. The keen. Been training really well. So, yeah, I just can't wait to get out there and show you what we've been working hard for. Wow, man. That's going to be, that's going to be exciting. Well, you know, we'll wrap up soon. But my, my other question I wanted to talk about is um, the fan base. Yeah. The Bankstown Bro, fan yeah. base. It's crazy. Bro, they are a different animal. It's actually so awesome, man. It's they, so crazy. Tell me about <laughs> it. Like, tell me, because I do you feel very embraced by them? Mate, honestly, yeah, they're, they're, they're so good. So yeah. good. Like, we had, a, like, a promo the other night at Shoe Grab. Oh, yeah? Um, and, mate, there was, like, it was stinking hot, stinking hot. And it was like, we weren't on there till 6.30. There was people waiting from 10 o'clock in the morning wow, bro. at Shoe Grab. Mate. The first person got there at 10 o'clock. We went on until 6. Mate. Just to come see us. That's, and that's like stinking hot. It was that day it was like 42 degrees Fuck. out there as well. And, and mate, their fans, they don't play around. They don't play if around. You're not playing around. If you're not playing well, they'll fucking let you know. But at the same time, like they're But so if you, at the same time, if anyone else yeah. from another club lets you know, they'll yeah. fucking they're, take they're, their head off. Yeah, it's, it's so awesome, man. It's, yeah. That's that, what we do for. Like, that's, that's, you, you play the game, the, the fans are the reason, you've, like one of the re- main yeah. reasons you play the game and... Yeah, it's just, just looking forward to giving them something to cheer about this year. Yeah, hundred percent, man. And I, I think it's going to be a real, real big year for you guys. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I hope nothing but the best for you guys. But I just that Bulldogs fan base, man. That is it's the best. Yeah. That, is, uh, <laughs> that is that is something crazy. Now, I want to talk about something that is a bit of a trend now for um, rugby rugby players is uh, the boxing boxing scene. Now, I know. You're a very nice guy. You don't like talking shit. You don't like <laughs> stirring another beef. I'm not asking you to do that. All I'm saying is, would you ever be interested in boxing with, you know, for like NRL boxing or just boxing in general, you know, later on? Yeah, at the moment I'll focus on rugby league, but definitely down the line. Maybe one, maybe one day, maybe one day, but not, not in the near future, but 
definitely in, maybe in the future. Are you calling up Pango? Are you going Pango? <laughs> no, are, you, no, are, you, no. are you going, you train me? Uh, you know? Oh, to train me. Yeah, not to fight him. <laughs> no, mate, mate, he's fucking a bit of a different weight class. I mean, <laughs> on the fucking goat in the line cage. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't would uh, fucking wish that on anyone. Nah, nah, nah. T's a good, great bloke. Yeah, maybe, maybe the trade. Hey, how about his boxing match? Yeah, uh, yeah. I watched it. Wow, yeah. mate, yeah. what a fucking bloodbath! That was a uh, good match. Nah, he's a he's a he's a beast. T. Really he's a fella. beast, man. He's a beast. <laughs> yeah. So, so what do you think? So, is, is there something on your mind? Somebody? No, is there somebody or so, like is there, is there boxing something on your mind? Oh, no, I wouldn't say it's on my mind, but I wouldn't rule it out in the future. Yeah, a bit, of, yeah. bit of a Paul Gallon. I could definitely see you being oh, a bit of Paul no. Gallon, mate. Have a, have, a, have a great career and just go, righto, who wants the bang? <laughs> let's, put on, let's put on the gloves and let's bang. Uh, no, I definitely would like, yeah. Footy's, obviously footy's my priority, but oh, you never course. know. You never know, maybe down the line. So what, so what happens if this NRL, you know, promotion, like NRL boxing promotion calls you up, you know, they give you the call and they say, hey, presto, mate, we'd, we'd love you to come down and have a little smack on. Would you... <laughs> Would you, be, would you be like, yeah, I'll come down? Or would you be like, nah, I'm focusing on footy? Right now, not yet. Okay. Maybe in a couple of years' time. Hear that? A couple of years' time, <laughs> Presto wants to take someone's fucking head off. <laughs> Is there anyone you want to take his head off? Anyone? Look, I'm ready. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you mate, know, I love Luca. you, Luca. I love you, Luca. Uh, you know. Luca, fucking, <laughs> mate. Uh, I reckon you'd have him too. Just <laughs> <laughs> Luca's a little bitch. <laughs> no, no. Uh, wow, wow, how about that? Luca's on here, caught out Angus Bell. Presto's calling out Luca. <laughs> oh, no, wow. I love Luca. He knows. Yeah, uh, no, no. He's, a good, he's, a, he's a good man. He's a good man. Uh, well, um. Yeah, Presto, that, that, that's all I've got to say, man. Like that, I think that's, you know, I think you're one of your, your, like I said at the very beginning, your journey is, I think you're one of the hardest working blokes I know. I reckon you're going to be a future captain of, you know, Bulldogs or whatever club you go to, but Bulldogs, I think you could be a captain for the Blues. I reckon you could be a captain for Australia. Like, you're through and through one of the great blokes from top to bottom Appreciate that, I don't, I don't want to be, be like you know blowing smoke up your ass but you, you truly are and, no, I, thanks, and I really hope nothing but the best for uh, you and the boys um, this season yeah. and uh, mate just fucking keep doing what you're doing and tell some of your boys to come on head noise that's it yeah, 100% <laughs> get on here get on here nah thanks heaps Gussie appreciate it mate yes it's been good catching up yeah fucking no fun man. Man. Yeah. done bro